Okay. All right, everybody. Praise Yah for His goodness and for His grace. Uh, gonna go over, try to cover something that is 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 been on my mind for a while. And I just did the numbers, and I I just thought I would share with you guys. I know I I'm trying to get back regular online and whatnot. Yeah, I will. I'll be I'll be back soon. Um, but anyway, at any rate, so a lot of people uh, are are have time to think. Uh, you could do the numbers. Think all of what I'm going to do and cover is just a rough estimate. It's not exact numbers. Okay, it's just giving you an idea of what 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 is. Okay, um, science time and Bible time. There's it's two different things. Okay. Science, scientists will tell you this is called the creationist, you know, worldview, and then the scientific and theory or whatever. So, scientists believe that I, I don't know if it reads backwards or whatever, but so you just got to take it for what it what it says. Scientists believe that the world been around for. Four billion, uh, four point, excuse me, four point fifty-four billion years or something like that. All right, and whereas to the Bible says that it's only been around for you know roughly again, it's not exact numbers, uh, like six thousand nine hundred and fifty years. Okay, so one says four billion. And some and some change. The other one says six six thousand six thousand. The other one says six thousand years, and uh, almost seven thousand years. Okay, not quite, but almost seven thousand years. All right. So what I did is I I tried to do the numbers. I did the numbers. I wanted to see how in comparison what would be the number so this is this is not this is a rough estimate this is a rough estimate to to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like okay that looks like you know six for every year uh uh, uh bible time is the equivalent to like 600,000 years science time all right 600,000 years this number this actual this actual number though I think based on what I showed you previously so with that in mind with that in mind now okay let's I want I want to read something that I just pulled off of uh, Wikipedia this is this is just something to think about. Within the next six million years from the present, the concentration of carbon dioxide will fall below the critical threshold needed to sustain C3 photosynthesis or something like that. About 50 parts per million, so you do the 600 million, 600 million, 50 parts per million, okay? It's some math for you to do. At this point, trees and forests in their current form will no longer be able to survive. Will no longer be able to survive. So just imagine this build the build up until that the build up until that but that's not the bible time so so the scientists say 6 million years so the bible time I did the math the bible time and I hope this, I hope you can read it it might be backwards cuz I wrote it the way when you take it, in, when you transfer it into the Bible time, it's nine hundred and fifty-four 
130 years. And and the trees. I mean, if you can live without trees, then you know, you you shouldn't be here. <laughs> 930 years so we're not even talking uh, Jesus coming back we're not talking none of that we're just talking straight up if, if the Bible time is right they got the timeline right 930 potentially this is just the concept now 930 years and this thing is done man it's, it's done if Jesus don't come back, if Yeshua don't come back, if the Messiah doesn't return, if this thing doesn't come to a close, it's going to be over anyway. In other words, that's that's 10 grandchildren, 10 grandchildren from you, and that's the end of the whole thing. It's all over. In the last two or three, you know, they may not even, who knows what the condition of the earth will be in in that state. Again, for life, man.